Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Weltklasse Zurich, 36 hours to go, we're here in the hotel, the meeting hotel, a lot of athletes have already arrived, some are still sleeping, some are in the dining hall, I just saw uh, Colin Jackson, Wilson Kipkater, some of the former legends uh, which are also present, so uh, I'm very happy to introduce you to our format, we're going to produce live on Facebook, Today and tomorrow, and uh, my name is Stefan. Together with my crew, my team, we're gonna produce several live sessions. We wanna show you this and that, more from the behind the scenes. Beside uh, the broadcasting pro production, we're gonna show you some insights what you not have been seen so far. I can't do this alone by myself. Um, I have my team, but I hope we also have a host, uh, your host, and I'd like to introduce you the trophies because Zurich is also the final of Diamond League so these are the real diamonds <laughs> Marco Büchel, how are you? Very good, I'm doing good. Marco Büchel, well known as Büchsi, a former ski champion, ski professional, alpine ski. What are you doing here at Weltklasse Zurich? I'm very curious. I'm very curious and uh, this is actually the first time at uh, Weltklasse Zurich. I've never been so far. And uh, I got asked if I could follow the whole meeting, the whole week uh, the, these two days behind the scenes and uh, I'm very curious there are things I don't know so I'm very curious and I want to look really good behind the scenes and see what's going on here how comes I mean you are uh, used to be an alpine skier you are you're not from Switzerland you're not from Austria not from Germany you're from Liechtenstein so we choose a really neutral host and um, so how comes that you get you know into a totally different sport. How do you want to do that? Well, I think basically the athletes are pretty much the same. It doesn't matter what kind of sport it is. So I can somehow relate to the track and field athletes. And I'm also very curious in this sport. I watch Weltklasse Zürich every time. I have to say I watch it on TV, but this is the first time I'm here. I am curious. I have questions like hell. And this event, Weltklasse Zürich, is so big. And it starts already with the pole vault at the main station. And then we have the Diamond League meeting on Thursday. So I have tons of questions. I'm always curious. So we're going to produce really sort of flexible with mobiles, smartphones. And we try to be very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also, I think, the way I know you, you like to work out of the moment. Yes, so I think that the, uh, the way we do this is unique. We go with the flow and uh, we just, whatever I see, I have questions. I have a person that helps me on the side. I'm not the, uh, the one that knows every, uh, everything and everybody. I have... Uh, so who's that? Uh, that's Linda Züblin. She just retired three years ago. She was a heptathlon athlete. And she is the one with all the information I want to ask. So she will be with me these two days. And oh, I'm going to ask her all these things. And, and I hope that in the background, we deliver so many informations, such a great view on uh, all the topics, all the topics. You can give any ideas, any content, what we're going to achieve, um, some f more information to the audience. Well, today, as I said, the women are doing the pole vault in the main station. This is part of Weltklasse Zurich. So we will be there and do uh, two live shows. And of course, we are going to see some of the athletes. We see the whole staging area. We see uh, the ambience, uh, everything that is going on. And of course, Thursday, we have three up to four blocks of live streaming. And um, we're going to be on the field. We're going to watch these uh, athletes perform. We are going backstage. We're going to look at the uh, call room. We're going to see the journey of the athletes that starts right here at the hotel, all the way to uh, Letzigrund. And then when they perform and afterwards, we're going to be in the mixed zone. We're going to be up on the VIP balcony. 
So we're going to see a lot. And also you can involve yourself. You, we we want to have some interaction mm -hmm. with you. So if you have any kind of question that you want to know, please ask Buxi or, the, or Linda in our Facebook stream uh, on Weltklasse Zurich on Facebook. Um, I also have to say if you have any topics we should cover, please let us know because anything helps us. And if you're curious about this or that, just let us know or send us questions. So interact with us. This gives us a great platform to work with and this is going to be great. Because when you look at the diamonds and you compare that to uh, the World Cup in, in your um, former sport, in ski, uh, alpine skiing, what do you think? Well, it's really nice to have someone with one of these, no? Of course, it is nice to have one of these things, but it doesn't. It, it only represents the value of your performance. The way it looks or the way it builds, that's one thing. But basically, for the athlete, it stands as a value for his performance. Whatever he delivered, outstanding performance, he deserves one of these or she deserves one of these. And that's the key. If it gets stolen, it has no... Pretty much no value to sell but for the athlete it has such a value and uh, it's always the same if you walk through these trophy rooms in this trophy room i think there's so much blood tears and sweat behind each one of these trophies so the athletes deserve it i knew that he's a good host but i i didn't know that he's a philosopher <laughs> also. looking forward to work with you i'm going to have so much well, fun and i hope too. you like it too so. Stay tuned, huh? Yeah. Bye bye.